Well, the Butler Bulldogs had yet another impressive exhibition win on Saturday night. This time it was against the Franklin Grizzlies. Uh, this is a Division III school out of Franklin, Indiana. And uh, Butler came out and played with a lot of energy and came out and played very well to start the game. Unlike the first exhibition game, they kind of came out a little, you know, cold and um, just a little sluggish getting back into the thick of things, but this this game was a lot different. Butler jumped out to a 53-16 to lead at halftime. Uh, got the lead up to 62 points in the second half before, uh, you know, all the bench players started coming in, and then it ended up being 98-43 to as the final score. Um, great games by a lot of uh, different players here. You know, we've got Roosevelt Jones came in. He had four points on two of four shooting. Great game by Cameron Woods. He's shooting lights out right now. He was 100% in the first game in this game. 8 of 9 for 18 points. Andrew Travis was 3 of 4 for 6 points. Alex Barlow, 1 of 2 for 2 points. He had a shot from behind the 3-point line, which he missed. Um, Kellen Dunham, better shooting this time around. 4 of 5 from the field, 2 of 3 from behind the arc for a total of 14 points. Austin Etherington, 1 of 3, 0 of 2 behind the 3-point line for 4 points. Tyler Weidman, first action uh, for Butler. Uh, he's a freshman. He had a concussion, and that's why he missed the first game, but he played in this game. 7 of 8 from the field for 17 points. Jackson Aldridge, 3 of 8, 2 of 5 behind the 3-point line for 11 points. A lot of production from him so far, um, and that's, that's good to see. Jackson Davis, 1 of 1 for 4 points. Stephen Bennett uh, played 15 minutes, but he didn't take a shot. Keelan Martin, 5 of 9 from the field, 3 of 6 from behind the arc for 18 points. Good to see him getting involved. And uh, Trey Pettis played 0 of 2 from the field for 0 points. He had 6 minutes in the game. Uh, field goal percentage, if you compare the two teams here, Butler shot 35 of 55 for 63.6%. .6%. Franklin was 12 of 49 for 24.5%. Three-point field goal percentage, Butler 7 of 17 for 41.2%. Franklin 5 of 23 for 21.7%. Free throw percentage, Butler 21 of 32 for 65.6% and it needs to be improved a bit. Uh, Franklin was 14 of 20 for 70%. Rebounds, Butler won this category 36 to 29. However, Franklin did get more offensive rebounds, which I don't like to see. They had 12 to our 9. Points off turnovers, Butler 41, Franklin 19. Turnovers, Butler 18, that's way too many. Franklin 30. Second chance points, Butler wins this category 13 to 4. Fast break points, Butler whoops them in this category 15 to nothing. And uh, it, was, uh, it was just an overall impressive game. Butler had eight blocks in this game to the Franklin's one. Uh, Jackson Davis had the most blocks with three, and that's good to see. Fouls was pretty even. Butler had 26, they had 27. So Butler's just been what's looking what it's looking like is Butler's just shooting lights out right now, and uh, obviously they're playing non-division one schools because these are exhibition games. So that's you know it's not that impressive, but it's impressive in the fact that it's better than what they played in their exhibition games last year, and. Uh, I think that this could carry over a bit. Obviously, those percentages are going to go down once they start playing Division I teams and conference opponents for sure. But this is a good start, and this is good something good that they can build off of. So I'm really looking forward to uh, next Saturday's regular season opening game at home in the newly renovated Hinkle Fieldhouse against the Maine Black Bears. So it would be a good game for us, a good way to get our season going, um, a good test to start off. And uh, hopefully we pick up the win and start off 1-0 with uh, our interim coach, Chris Holtman. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the recap for that next video. Have a good one.